All right, this weird looking contraption that you see in front of you is my latest uh, kind of invention, sort of latest, latest thing to tinker around with for airplaning. And uh, what I've done here is uh, used an inline fan and I am um, pulling air from the bottom and pushing it out the top here. And it is going through a, a Denso car cabin filter. That's what that is, it's meant, meant for car cabin filters. It's a round one and it's hollow and the air is being sucked uh, from the bottom and coming through this inline can fan, 120 CFM can fan and coming out the top through uh, what's called an ULPA filter. So that stands for ultra low penetration air. This filter is meant to be used in commercial vacuums uh, by no fisk. And the ULPA spec is 99.999%, uh, 0.12 microns. Meaning this will capture particles a lot smaller than your traditional HEPA filter will. And this one is um, certified. Now I'm just going to turn it the other way up. And there's a reason I like to do that is because I'm drawing air. It's getting sucked in here and being pushed uh, out to the bottom. So what I've tried to do here is seal it up with this uh, tape really well, this foil tape. So it's uh, airtight and then the air will be uh, forced out the bottom and uh, cleans the air very well. Um, the reason that I'm filtering it with this car cabin filter on top first is because I don't want to get the motor dirty. And also when I uh, powered this thing up without this filter, this fan was pushing uh, air so hard that it uh, was rebounding basically. It was getting deflected from the bottom of that filter, getting rebound and coming back out because this filter is not designed for this fan obviously. Um, so I didn't want to do that because I figured as dirt builds up, as dust builds up inside this hollow cavity, that air getting forced down would kind of spiral. Some of it would get trapped in here, but the bigger stuff would just get thrown back into the air. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, what else can I say? These Denso car cabin filters are supposedly rated at ultra fine particles. So their literature says in their advertising. However, I've got no way to prove that uh, with my testing because I do not have an ultra fine particle counter. I do have a 0.5 micron particle counter here. Now it's just showing what's, what our airborne particle levels are. On the left is, is uh, 0.5 microns. Add two zeros to get the cubic feet. So these numbers are really good. My air is very clean right now. But uh, we're gonna try this anyway. We're gonna put this at the uh, exhaust of the OPA filter. And that OPA filter is not moving very much air at all because it's actually designed for a vacuum cleaner, which has a 1000 watt motor. And this little motor is like 50 watts or whatever. But as you can see, the air coming out is uh, 0.5 micron free all the way around, even from that small little stream of air coming out. Now, this little experiment that I did with this filter, I'm not so sure. Uh, I, I don't know if I could recommend anybody actually do this particular one. The reason for it, if you can get a large OPA filter, fine, but this OPA filter is just too small for, uh, for what I'm using it for. It does not have enough surface area. And it's very tightly uh, woven, so the air resistance is just incredible. And it is causing this motor to have to work very, very hard, especially that I'm double filtering it. So I don't think I could recommend anybody actually make one of these. Um, the other options I've tried is to suck the air, uh, instead of pushing the air through this OPA filter, is to suck it through and don't even have this one and just have the one filter. I've tried that with the, the Denso one as well. Um, for some reason I cannot get a zero particle count when I do that and I think the reason is that when you're trying to suck too much air, more than, more than the filter can actually pass, more than it's rated for, then you're going to get backflow uh, from the fan. So a lot of air will be coming out of the fan. So some of it's just kind of backflowing. So that's why your particle counts don't show zero. Also, it is possible the, the motor itself is generating particulate matter 
of its own, which is a very bad thing. So at least when you do it like this, any stuff generated by the motor is going to get filtered out. I do find this motor gets very warm uh, when I run it like this. So uh, once this filter gets a bit dirty, I'll probably just throw kind of a failed experiment. But it, it does work, like as you can see, it uh, is getting rid of uh, virtually everything. And a better option to this might be to use a larger filter, definitely, because larger filters have more surface area. This uh, filter here is a certified filter meant, meant to use by CVAC vacuums. This is 0.3 microns and larger uh, at 99.99%. It'll actually capture smaller particles than that also, like to the ultrafines. But this is a certified CVAC filter. It's a lot larger. So you could basically just uh, plunk this can fan on top of here and suck the air through this filter. And you should have uh, no problem because there's so much more surface area, larger filter than there is on this one. But anyway, that is a little experiment I did. And uh, yeah, it's something I wanted to try. But uh, if I could source out larger OPA filters like that, then this thing would work great. That's kind of the problem. I'm using this filter for something it's not designed for. But that's what I do. I try to modify things and see where it goes. Um, something else that I could do is I could take this, like I said, take this filter off, but then it's going to blow the air right back out, right back out and not work very well. But uh, yeah, just something different I wanted to try. And definitely an OPA filters are good, but if you can get large enough ones. There you go, my little UFO air cleaner.